Sometimes you might want to whiten the eyes of a person in your portrait photo. So to learn a quick and easy way to do this, go ahead and open up princess.jpg in Photoshop. And you'll notice in this photo, the eyes are white, but they're not quite as white as we can make them. So there's a quick and easy way to fix that. We could paint white on a new layer and adjust the blending mode, but this is a much better way, I think. Go ahead and press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. That duplicates the layer so that we have two layers in the layers panel. Exactly the same. Go ahead and change the layer blending mode of this top layer to screen. That lightens up the photo a bit and it actually improves some of the area around here as well. But let's say you didn't want all this area here that light. Uh, we could adjust the opacity, but let's say we only wanted the eyes lightened. What we would do is add a mask and fill it with black and then let these areas show through in the mask. How do we do that? Well, one way is to add a layer mask on the bottom and then make sure your foreground is black. So we'll flip that there. You can press D for the default foreground and background, white and black, and then press X to flip them or just click that foreground color and set it to black. And press Alt Backspace on the PC or Option Delete on the Mac. And it fills the mask here on the layers panel with black and it covers up the entire top layer. Another way to do that though that's a little bit quicker, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that mask, is to instead of just click on the add layer mask on the bottom of the layers panel, what we can do, I'm gonna pull this over here, what you can do is hold down alt on the PC or option on the Mac and then click the add layer mask icon. It automatically adds black to the mask. So it's basically like this top layer is just erased, but it's we, we can bring back those pixels selectively. So make sure your foreground color is set to white. So we're going to flip those. We can click right there, the bottom of the tools panel, or press X. And we want a nice soft edge brush for this. So up at the top, make sure you have the soft edge brush. And you can adjust the size but you can also adjust the size while it's over the canvas. Press left or right bracket to resize it. If you don't see that size, make sure caps lock is not on. If it's on, you'll just have it with the crosshairs there. So we need to make sure caps lock is off. So we'll need to zoom in. So control or command plus. So control plus on the PC, command plus on the Mac. And this brush is too large now. So we need to do left bracket. And what you'll do, you could make selections beforehand if you want to get really precise, but I think this will be fine. We just want to paint in here. And we're not painting in white, per se, because it's retaining the texture of the underlying layer. It's just masking through. Make this a little bit larger here. It's just masking through. All right. Uh, so it retains that texture. I know it's a little bit strong. We're going to fix that in a second. So just go right along the edge here. And then right along here. And notice it's retaining that photo texture so it's not just completely white. And that'll definitely show through once we adjust the opacity. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, Control or Command minus. Notice uh, maybe I messed up a little bit. Let's say over here, press spacebar to toggle the the hand tool. Uh, let's say I went over a little bit, like right here. Oh, too much. Okay. Press X, it'll flip that, and we paint black back in. So paint that mask. And there, press X again, and it will toggle it to white. Toggle foreground to black, white. All right. So zoom out here, and it's a little bit strong. All right. So the way to make this more subtle, uh, you can see here's the before and there's the after. Bring the opacity down to that top layer. And if you're using the support file, I'm using maybe about 30% is good. And that's how you lighten eyes, uh, retaining the same texture of the underlying eye. Uh, it's just using this screen technique of the layer blending mode allows us to lighten the eyes and retain the underlying texture of it. There's the before.
There's the after.